Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 27. Today, uh, we're gonna be talking about scapular stability. Yesterday, hopefully with our recap, we got everybody back on track. Uh, we understand the difference between passive integrity or passive shoulder integrity versus active shoulder strength. And, um, and now today, we're gonna start implementing our strength and our overhead arm program. And we're gonna do that with a, with a, a strict pull-up program. So I figured it's only right, if we're going to start a strict pull-up program, to talk about some of the common faults that I see. So, uh, hopefully you guys don't think this is a Rorschach card, uh, because it's not. However, it's something I use all the time. Uh, I'm from the farmland, so we call this an excavator, but today one of my, one, one of my guys called it a digger. But, so we'll call it a digger for today. Um, if I was to ask a really, really simple question and ask you whether this excavator would work more efficiently if it was sitting on top of concrete and digging in the dirt, or if it was sitting in the mud and digging in the dirt, hopefully we can get a unanimous answer and you would say it would be much stronger, it would be work much more efficiently, there would be much less torque on this arm if we can plant this or anchor this into concrete. So if I was to move this picture over and now give you a picture of the shoulder blade, right, or the scapula, I, I can tell you we can anchor our shoulder blade in concrete very easily. And the way we do that is by turning on, to a, a turning on our scapular stabilizers. Okay? So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to bring Dennis. Dennis, come on over. So we, got, we got Dennis over here, and we're going to begin our, our initiation of doing a strict pull up. Remember what I said the rotator cuff is always the first thing to turn on and the last thing to turn off when doing a strict pull up. So we're going to have Dennis here jump up. Take a regular pull-up uh, grip. And what I want him to do to activate these shoulders, what we're gonna do is external shoulder rotation. You can see the lat turn on, you can see the serratus anterior turn on, and you can see the, the shoulder blades kind of suck right against the thoracic cage. And that's what we're looking to do. Relax for a second. See how they're kind of pulled away now? We got no mobility. We, we got our excavator in mud. Now, turn those arms out right there. Now we just, conquer, uh, we just put our excavator on concrete. We can allow it to move much more efficiently. Do your pull up all the way up. Elbows will come in, right? And then allow yourself to come back, back down. Now do a sloppy one with your elbows flinging out. No scapular stability there. You can even see, I mean, obviously you guys got a great back, but you can see how this comes out. We have no scapular stabilization, elbows wing out. So go ahead, jump down. So guys, just to recap, what we're gonna start to do Activate the shoulder, external rotation of the shoulder, turn on those scapular stabilizers to initiate the strict pull-up. For you guys that have been paying attention following along, yesterday we found either our max pull-up, strict pull-up, or we found a band setting that allows us to do eight to nine reps, okay? With that, um, what we have is we're gonna do our first day of our strict pull-up cycle. It's gonna be a 30-day pull-up challenge. If you have eight to nine reps, this is the, the rep scheme that you're gonna start with. It's gonna be five sets separated by a comfortable rest. Six, five, five, four, three, okay? Each time we're trying to work to fatigue and not to failure, okay? If you were one of those guys that were able to do like 15 or 20, I'm gonna check, check back at the website. You're gonna be able to see a full rep schema all the way out. It'll be nice, uh, nice and, and pyramidized for you so that we can get everybody on the same page. But everybody's gonna start their strict pull-up regimen today, and we're gonna do a 30-day uh, pull-up challenge. We'll see how that goes. Guys, remember, turn on that scapula before you start doing those pull-ups. Until tomorrow, we're optimizing function to optimize performance.